So now I'm going to explain the code. First, we need few steps involved in correctly initializing our environment by closing any figure and clearing any variables. Then we create an Arduino variable and we load the ECG file that is stored in my memory. This next operation will cut ECG in half in order to create two different subplots. Here you have a truncated figure for the sake of precision. Then we set the figure itself and general presentation. We decide its outer position. If you want a full screen figure at the beginning you have to insert 0, 0, 1, 1 in this instruction. Then we decide the background for each graphic which will be black and the color which is grey thanks to this vector and the name ECG MATLAB plus Arduino as you can see here let's move on we need to create a time array to plot the correctly the x-axis and a refresh variable which we'll we will use later then we create two different subplots the first one which is the upper one and the second one, which is the bottom one. Then we decide a lot of characteristics like X color, we set the grid on, we decide the line width as well as the font size, the color of the labels, and time versus amplitude so that the graphic will be more readable. Then we have to move to Arduino. Here's the circuit. I created this by assembling a MOSFET transistor here, which will drive the LED, a green LED here, with a resistor 220 ohm to limit the current, a piezo which will reproduce the sound and the resistor which will limitate the sound itself. So the piezo is linked to pin 9 and the transistor is linked to pin 10. So in the first place we need those to be set off. So we write digital pin 0, logic 0 to both the pins. Next we have to find peaks and here's an algorithm that I created separately from the rest of this function that we return a vector which components are the indexes of ECG peaks. Then we need two four cycles. The first one which will plot in green our ECG dot by dot and it draws instantly so we continuously see the ECG going as the times goes by. Then if our current index corresponds to a peak that I found before then we need to switch the transistor on so we write a digital high, digital 1 on pin 10. This will turn the LED on. Then we play a small tone on pin 9. This is the frequency, you can choose whatever you want for this time. Then a little pause before setting everything off again. Then we need a, a refresh cycle which will occur every 50 points thanks to the N which we created before and which will increment at the end of every refresh cycle. This will grant the graphics to plot faster although it can reach a certain velocity you know uh, this code is pretty expensive for my computer so the ECG is limited in terms of velocity the second cycle is identical to the first one so the first cycle is for subplot 211 the upper one which we saw before while the second cycle does the same exact thing for the bottom graphics. And here's the function. 
it's pretty complicated but I think uh, it works just fine here's are some handling operations like posing and clearing everything